First of all, you don't know me. <laughs> We're all about that high school drama girl, drama girl, all about them high school queens. We'll take you for a ride in our comic girl, drama girl, cheering for the right team. Drama queens, drama queens, smart girl, rough girl, fashion but you're tough girl, you could sit with us girl. Drama queens, drama queens, drama queens, drama, drama queens, drama queens. Hey everybody, we're back for a Q&A episode. So excited to be with you right now and uh, nice to see you girls. Hello. Oh, hey. Hello. What's up? <laughs> I love these hard-hitting questions. It's like <laughs> just drama journalism is what's happening on these Q&A episodes. I'm into right. It. Let's get into it. Okay. Okay. Um, well, let's see. Q&A, what was your favorite moment from the tour? Ooh. This is the first question we have. Oh my my God. favorite moment from our Drama Queens tour was probably when we had our agent and uh, our awesome assistant on the bus. And was there one other person? And we were all like, Uni was DJing, our agent was DJing, yeah. and we all were just rocking out to great tunes for like three hours and talking nonstop. It was so fun. There was like that one was particular so afternoon where we were just rolling. It was great. My yeah, favorite we part about like that was melting. Sophia getting mad at the vitamin C of it all. <laughs> I was like, yes. please turn off this song. Please, <laughs> yes. please not this song. We also, there were so we many also, good songs. Like we rocked some ABBA. We really went in on Whitney Houston and then vitamin C hit. And I was like, this is the one that ruins the place. <laughs> I requested the vitamin C because it's such a cheese ball song. The graduation song is like such a cheese ball song. And it came out our senior year in high school. And so it was just kind of mandatory. Like, well, this is your senior year in high school song. We didn't pick a kid. I like still have PTSD from that song. Yeah. Yeah. And Soph just like shut down in a way that I don't think I've ever seen her shut down Mm -hmm. before. That was, (laughs) she was just like, I'm not even going to fake it. I can't do it. I was like, I'm so sorry. I cannot do this with you was Sophia sitting shotgun and being in charge of navigation. That didn't work well. And <laughs> she kept she kept taking videos of things of all of us behind her and then going immediately to Instagram and starting to like put things together and Hillary Hillary kept missing the exits. Like four times. Okay, 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 okay. They're not wrong. But here's what I have so to say great. is that I had been asked to start answering the Q&A questions <laughs> you had on the Drama Queen's Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. And very quickly, I was like, y'all, I can either take videos of us ask, answering these questions or I can help her navigate. I cannot do these two things yeah. at the same time. <laughs> you can't so do two Liz jobs in one chair. So then came and crawled on the floor and was giving you directions just out of frame while I was filming our, our responses to all the questions that were coming in on our Drama Queen's Instagram page. And I was like, this feels better. I It turns out I can only do one thing at a time. <laughs> but it also, it was a very specific part of the country where there weren't exit lanes for the exits. It was like yeah. three whole lanes of traffic would be the exit and they wouldn't alert yeah. you to that. And so we yeah. thought we were driving in the middle lane and the next thing you yeah. know, we were getting off we're the We're in highway. the middle of nowhere passing yeah. that one gas station three I times. I really liked that cute little town though. All their <laughs> Halloween decorations so were up and the leaves were changing and I was like, I would love to just get a coffee and walk around here but we don't have time. Yeah. Have time. Um, I... I enjoyed the Warner Theater in D.C. because yeah. we're there like during Halloween time and the staff there was telling us about all the ghosts that live there. And yeah. I wish we could have spent days there. Like I loved that, that cool theater. theater. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was, was great. I would love to do too. a couple of nights there. Sweet. Yeah. Hey, Next thanks time. for the question. Um Number two, ladies, number two question on our sheet here. If we got to see Haley's brothers, who do you think would have played them? Mm. Yeah, what a missed opportunity to have new hot guys on the show. Uh, I mean, as someone that- But our boss didn't want there to be new hot guys on the show. He only wanted there to be new hot girls on the show, Joy. That's right, I forgot. Even if there were new dorky guys on the show, I'm pretty equal opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, some Who cool would have dudes? played them? I don't know. I, I, mean, I don't know. I would have really loved if we had gone like a little bit of stunt casting with Haley's brothers and gotten like all the boys from Hanson or like <gasps> Devin oh, Sawa. Stop. And yeah. do you know what I mean? Like iconic teen yeah. boy stars. Jonas brothers. Yes. Like, come on. Great answer. And then they could have all few, sung few together. Yeah, yeah, it would have been great. Oh, it would have been yeah, so great. That. That's what I would have liked. 
And it would have been cool if they were musical because you you could have created this backstory that like Haley grew family. up in a musical yes. house. Yes. And just seen like jam oh ses- sessions in your living room with yeah. Huey Lewis leading. Oh, yeah. come on. Yes. Come on. God, it would have been so cool. That is really a missed opportunity for sure. I can't think of Sorry. any answer that tops that. Like Hanson yeah, as your brothers is <laughs> right? just can't, can't top it. Johnny gold. Lang. Let's get Johnny Lang in. Okay. Oh my God. Love. Right? Fine. Yeah, why? Yeah, why I was right? thinking more like, like that's a great, I was thinking more like Toll Brothers. Like who are the guys that like, <laughs> the, Haley clearly does not interact with them anymore. So what did they do that was oh, so yeah. awful? Like there was this yeah. girl that I lived near when I was in elementary school who had high school brothers and I remember going to her house for the first time and they're like, what's your name? And I said, Hillary. And they're like, whatever, celery. And they called me celery <laughs> for the whole what? rest of the time I knew them. And so in my mind, I'm like, oh, older brothers, assholes. So yeah. mm-hmm. who could play the asshole version of that? I just feel like there's right. some like older brother Vince Vaughn energy that we needed on our yeah. show so that even when they came back, and Haley's married to Nathan. They're like, oh, what's up, Nathan? You know, like they're just <laughs> antagonistic in a way that's fun. Yeah. 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 Not everyone can be cool Uncle Cooper. Sometimes you just that's need like right. ding dongs. Okay. So at what point did, did we all finally open up to each other while filming One Tree Hill? Um, that's the next question. Much like this past episode we just watched, I think, mm. when did we really let our guard down? And we, I don't think um, we we weren't our age now, whereas now it takes a while to let guards down when you first meet mm-hmm. people. When you're the, the age that we were when we started, so much younger, I think we just like w- walked in immediately with open hearts. I also think it, it moves in seasons. Mm-hmm. And I don't mean yeah. seasons of TV. I mean like yeah. seasons of your life. You know, seasons of love. There oh my god, is. they're perf- they're doing rent <laughs> at my local theater, Joy, and like all I can think is, how do we do a local theater production? Like, how oh, do we yes. just really immerse ourselves in that? We should do rent. That would be so um, fun. But but you know what I mean? Like, I feel like we really bonded in the beginning, and then I think life started to happen, mm-hmm. and people in charge really wanted there to be wedges between the girls, and we didn't know that that was like behind the scenes politics. Yeah, and so we we would dip in and dip out and dip in and dip out. And sometimes we were very tight and sometimes we were all a little scared and and it really went in waves. I, I think, you know, Hill, we had a huge moment after you left. Yeah. Where like we, we got, we, we really like swept out from under the rug and <laughs> what the, f- we're going to burn everything down. Mm-hmm. You know, and I don't know. I think there's just, I think there's been seasons of it. I have the journal that Joy and I shared back and forth because it was hard mm, to yeah, have. I found, yeah. It's just hard to have private conversations on set mm. because you're mic'd, you know? Yeah. And you don't know who's listening back at Video Village. And so we had that journal that we would pass back and forth called mm-hmm. Trailer right. Trash. <laughs> and it was, I forgot about that. it felt like being in school. Like where you're passing I notes. Found a bunch of letters that you and I wrote to each other. I th- I have I found a couple cards from you, Soph, and then I have letters from from you, Hill, a whole bunch in my collection that I because I never throw anything away. Same. That's fun to see. Hoard. <laughs> I remember there was a moment when Soph first came to the show that I had uh, I'd been in a long term relationship that was falling apart, and I'd fallen for someone else. And I had finally called that dude to be like, hey, I'm single. And his voicemail was, hey, I'm not here right now, but if this is so-and-so, I love you. And it wasn't me. It was like he, he had met someone else in the process. Do you remember, do you remember who I'm talking about? Oh, Sophia, wait, do you remember who I'm I, talking about? <laughs> I'm like, no. is it? Uh, I'll tell you later. I'm like, can you text me on the side? I'll text you guys on the side. Um, Anyway, and I was like devastated. And I remember being in an elevator with Sophia at the Riverview Suites, like kind of very quickly debriefing you about this situation with like past boyfriend and the one that got Mm -hmm. away and like Mm -hmm. my phone's blowing up and I'm like, I don't know what to do. 
And then like cut to two years later, I'd made contact with the one that got away and was going to see him in LA, you know, like going out for the Teen Choice Awards. And I casually said it. And Sophia, we weren't hanging out at the time, but you Mm. knew the gravity of that. And I just remember Mm. looking at you from across the like 16 passenger (sighs) van and you being like, get out there. Do it. <laughs> and, because, and, and that was the thing that was always kind of nice about our relationships is as bitchy as yeah. we all could get with each other or as just like huffy as young women can get at any given point. Mm-hmm. We knew each other's secrets and like yeah. knew what really mattered. And then it was like, yeah. oh, we have to go into we have to go into like chaos mode right now. You mm-hmm. know what that feels like? That feels like the scene in the pictures of you episode where Brooke and Peyton love each other, but they're in like a moment of space. Yeah. But Peyton's like, I got Chase here. <laughs> yeah. And you're yes. like, yeah. It's our, a moment of space is like a really good way to put that. Because I think yeah. every relationship needs them, whether it's mother yeah. and child or friends or romantic partners. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so we certainly had our moments of space on the show, but we're always down. Like, yeah. Joy would send a letter in the thick of some bullshit. And I knew yep. like... Okay, I'll see you at craft service. Yeah, here we go. Let's go. I think that's the thing about really building relationships that feel like family. It's like, you can talk shit about your brother, but nobody else better. No. Yeah. And <laughs> like, we we could be in the reality of relationships where we were not only so close, but also literally trapped together on an essential, what is what was essentially an island, our set. And we could be like in and out, but if anybody was messing with any of us it was like oh the calories coming yeah yeah <laughs> and i liked that now you've made us <gasps> mad <laughs> it is oh my god hillary it is <laughs> oh that's right uh, you remember that one joy oh yeah um, i remember oh i just texted god. them who it was i know and I like remember. to look back <gasps> now and be like hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo. you dodged a bullet baby yeah we all do um wow you guys were there for it so oh <laughs> my god Here we oh are. my god Okay, your favorite outfit you got to wear on the show and wish you could keep. Mm. Well, Velvet Blazer over here has had a hell of a time in season four. God, I'm getting all these great velvet jackets and I, I I, I wish I had those. I just love that in the early 2000s, teenage girls wore like work casual wear to school I know. and <laughs> like what were we doing <laughs> it is so and now they're like in full oversized sweatshirts billy yeah. eilish like big yeah. huge sweatpants or like tiny little crops and high mom These children jeans. are so wearing funny. pajamas to school now and pa-jamas. we were doing business casual on a tuesday <laughs> must be nice <laughs> i mean what did she wear to gym class i, I mean we always had gym uniforms in high school. Mm. But so yeah, do, do you too. feel like your blazer apparel on One Tree Hill like slightly informed your love of a power suit now? Like you got a lot of practice. I don't think so to be honest cuz Brooke Brooke's style was so all over the place cuz it was like whatever was in the moment she was going to wear. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And looking back, I'm like, God, I wish we just narrowed that down a little bit because some of that shit looks insane. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I think like I, I think it was very, for me, I think it was sort of 90s Calvin Klein all the way back to Catherine Hepburn and the suits she oh, used to wear. I oh. just, I don't know. I love, I love the power of a suit. I don't think I really felt powerful in a lot of the clothes I was wearing on our show. I was like, please give me more Hold fabric. Hold on a second, though. Can we talk about what you you coveted and you went back and bought? Oh, my God. What? You guys, we have talked so much about that dress, that multicolored dress with the sequins. Oh, yeah. That Brooke wore to Keith's failed wedding to Jules. <laughs> <laughs> And I have been hunting for it. You have not. And one of you so kindly sent me the link to a store that literally sells clothes from TV. Oh, and I gosh. bought that Wait, you found the dress. Actual I bought dress? it. It's in my closet. I don't think it's mine. Um, Close it's enough. It's not. 
But it's dresses that are seen on TV. Oh, it's that are the seen same dress. Show. Yeah, and they'll be like, this is the sweater that Blake Lively wore in this episode of Gossip World. This is the dress that you Sophia wore at the wedding. You have to send this to us. Oh, my and gosh. I, I'm going to have to get it tailored because it does not fit me. And I don't care. I was like, <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I'll, I, whatever. It literally doesn't matter. Like, I will rebuild it. So Fine. that it fits my body. I love this. In, I'm ready. in 30 minutes, because Brooke Davis is a master well, seamstress. Well, Brooke Davis knows how to do that. <laughs> uh, because Joy- the fact that I never learned to sew <laughs> playing Brooke Davis is so embarrassing. <laughs> There's time, babe. You've got tons of free Oi. time, right? Yeah. Joy, what'd you want to steal? Ugh. I don't know. I never really <laughs> liked Haley's clothes. The beach outfit? Are you kidding me? <gasps> that was yeah. mine. Okay, the skirt was not, but the top was mine. Um, I wish you'd kept that skirt and you could still wear the outfit. Yeah, that would be fun. That that was a good, that was a good one. Uh, I don't know. I'm like, I think I just kept some t-shirts. Maria walked into the kitchen the other day wearing a t-shirt that I had in a bin for her of like old clothes. And it was definitely something I had worn on the show. It was funny. It's oh, like, oh, funny. This is, where'd you get that? <laughs> um, <laughs> like, hey, hang on, hang on. Some, <laughs> yeah, I stole some t-shirts. But uh, I don't know, maybe jackets, purses, shoes. I think I just took things home that were like fine. I don't know that I kept any items that were really awesome. That yeah. I what about really like the 40s kept. episode? Did you like your wardrobe I, in that? No, it was all, I, I wouldn't actually wear any of those things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They were all, they were all so costumey. Now, sorry, I think <clears> I, maybe, maybe the, the shirt, the tan, no, I don't really wear a lot of button ups. I don't know. That's the no, thing. I gotta say. Did you keep you the poncho? Spend- no, who knows where the hell that Ooh, poncho is. That's a travesty. But it is interesting because you spend so long in these clothes. Like, you know, it takes eight days to film an episode. Mm-hmm. You're like, I never want to see that again. And yeah. and you are dressing as a character, not as yourself. So it, it can be kind of tricky. I mean, I would have kept the chilling uniform. I wish I had one of those uniforms. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, like, I'll jump on that bandwagon. Yeah, with the pants and jacket. Like I want the yeah. whole shebang. Yeah, you want the whole track outfit. suit. Yeah, you know what bugs me too is they're so weird about they never want you to keep anything. They never want to let you take anything home. They bill you if you do. By the way, I got a bill at the end of our show, and people they were like, "All of these Brooke clothes are missing," and I was oh like, God. "I didn't take half that. Sh-. I don't know who took it." I didn't want that blue mini skirt. Like, I, this is not happening. And and the craziest part is, I, I was talking about this with a wardrobe supervisor on a job I was doing recently. And she was like, yeah, they're so crazy about it. They want everything cataloged. They want everything to go back. And she'd done a show that um, was a streaming show. So they did their first season. They packed up all the wardrobe, sent it to the studio. And then they had to wait to get picked up. And then, you know, they do, they film the whole s- second season, whatever. So it was going to be a long delay. It was like 18 months. And when the studio shipped all the clothes back, they hadn't been stored properly. All the boxes were full of mold. Everything was ruined. And she was like, she was like, if we had just let the actors take their clothes home, they could have brought them back and they would have been fine. And so not only did they eat the cost of shipping like an entire truck's worth of wardrobe somewhere else, but then everything was ruined all and they had to completely start over. And I was like, this is dumb. Like, you tailored that to fit me perfectly. Please just let me have it. And I promise if you want it yes. back, I'll give it back to you because I'm a hoarder and I never get rid of it. <laughs> because I'm a hoarder. Yes, It'll yes. be fine. We should have kept more sh- really is the moral of the story. Yeah, they should have <laughs> let us keep everything. <laughs> Guys, is there an episode you wish you could go back and direct yourself in? Mm. I mean, I'm going to say oh that gosh, big Stinko episode myself. we just watched with Peyton and Lucas where they're finally together but don't know how to talk to each other. Like, <laughs> guys, I'm not even trying in that episode. <laughs> I came into work that day and I was like, I'm going home and I don't care about this. Uh, because the le- the dialogue was so dorko that, I don't know. Sometimes you just, yeah. after your years in, get defeated. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you can't be on all the time. Oh. And when you're required to be on 17 hours a day, mm-hmm. some days you just can't do it in the same way. You can't fake it. You can't like smile through something you think is dumb. <laughs> but it is interesting because you look back and you go, oh man, if I'd had a little more experience under my belt or a little more confidence, I would have fought to change this. And then this would have been better. And then, but it's like, 
You only learn lessons when you learn them. So, I would have found it in a different way. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking yeah. about karaoke or some shit, you know? <laughs> you were going to Yosaki. Yeah. <laughs> what were you? Which <laughs> ones are you guys <laughs> pondering? What keeps you up at night? It's interesting. When you talk about that, things you wish you could do differently, yeah, there's certainly moments of that. I think especially for me in season one, uh, feeling so pressured. Everyone always told me, like, you have to be sexier, sell it harder, yeah. like, be more out there with it. And I disagree. Like, I can see myself really pushing to try to prove it. And I, I would love to direct myself differently in those moments until I found my confidence as a series regular, as a young yeah. actor. Um, but then there's things that I just think, God, like, I guess it's really in my head because we've it's the most recent episode we've watched. But 413, you know, our Breakfast Club episode, I loved that episode so much and I would have loved from like my vantage point now to go back and direct everybody in that. Yeah. I think that would have been one of the most fun episodes yeah. in the history of our show to be a director on. I totally agree. That one, I, the 40s episode would have been fun to direct. Mm. The, um, oh, you would have been so good at that, Joy. You love yeah. period stuff. That would have been uh, so that, fun. That would have been the one that I would want to, if I could go back and pick any, I probably would have done that one. Yeah. I love that. Sweet. Uh, well, great. Thank you guys so much for your questions. Can't wait for more. Thanks, y'all. Guess we'll talk to you later. Yeah, behave yourselves. <laughs> Peace out. Hey, thanks for listening. Don't forget to leave us a review. You can also follow us on Instagram at dramaqueensoth. Or email us at dramaqueens at iheartradio.com. See, See you, you next time. time. We're all about that high school drama girl, drama girl, all about them high school queens. We'll take you for a ride in our comic girl. Drama girl. Cheering for the right team. Drama girl.